How many phones have you had in your life? Two, four, six, more? I know I went through four myself. But did you know that in 2019 alone, we produced 53.6 million metric tons of electronic waste? That is equivalent to 6.5 million adult elephants. And only 17% got recycled. You do the count. It's nothing. But since we don't want to give up our phones, we have to come up with more bio-friendly materials to replace these electronic components and reduce the current waste we produce. A potential solution might be to add more value to food and plant waste by breaking it down into a million tiny pieces known as nanocellulose. These tiny pieces can be used as building blocks to create bio-based electronics. Nanocellulose is natural, abundant, biodegradable, light, and strong. It is a thousand times thinner than a human hair while being at the same time five times stronger than steel. And by implementing simple chemical modifications, we are able to create various bendable materials with favorable electronic, mechanical, or biodegradable properties. My research project focuses on using current electronic designs with nanocellulose as a template. By combining these two components together, I'm able to develop the next generation of smart and advanced flexible electronics. This project is also addressing current challenges, uh, challenges related to the material's ability to possess strength and be flexible at the same time. Using nanocellulose as the base material and controlling these chemical modifications introduced, we are able to create um, also an answer to our current issues regards to electronic waste, a more biofriendly approach. It, successful implementation of nanocellulose will open the door to a thousand more new applications and potentially the next generations of iPhones made from real apples. <laughs>